Hello my dudes and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 Horizon. Let's get into it. Go and see how far we can get with our current health and our current supply situation. See if we can go and do some looting. Some looting and some scooting. I'll stab ya. Seems like it's going to be a dark episode this time. We're going into the night. I'm carrying too much again. Uh, junk scrapping. Scrap junk. I wonder if we have the capability of taking down any of these gunners at the top here. I don't think think we have the ammo for it. We might. A decent amount of 45 rounds. I really, really want to get Wilson as fast as possible. Oh, one settler mission done, and it started again. Okay, cool. The order... Deployment settings are working. <laughs> Spin around to get that light out of my face. some damage you gonna help me dog me you are really pissing me off so we needed what's those face shots Only way we're gonna get the higher level enemies. So if we quickly double tap them. Is there anybody else around here? Some machine gun. Are they worth much? God, outfit will grab that. Carrying too much, can't run again. Enhanced targeting card. Encumbered. Six over. Right. Field scrapping time. I'm we want to keep that. Keep the knuckles as well so we can learn them. Mm. 
we got two cargo bots on us now. Detecting predators tracking your position. Custom bolt action. One hiding around here. I'm gonna give some of my items to dog meat. I think they're above. So whilst there's enemies nearby. Okay, dog meat. Path to me, please. Mm, got some clean blood. Let me sleep in that bed. Dog meat. Raul though. Need your assistance. Are you pathing this way? Come around. Yes, good boy. Yo, psst. Let me trade with you. You can take that, you can take that. I got a uh, view. What is that all the way over there? Ourselves properly hydrated and all that jazz. What the? Okay, this guy above. Got it. We're gonna have another one of these guys drop down on me again. Below me? It's a sniper rifle. This is real nice. It's going to be very, very useful. Yeah, I'm going to try out this one. This is 357 ammo. It's the same ammo as the revolver. Is this guy below? I can hear him moving around. Isn't on the other side of this, uh. Hmm. There he is. Lock and load! Mm, he 
you also had a custom bolt action. Okay. We know for shizzle, always shoot people in the head. It's there. Very, very obvious weak spot. I kind of want to jump off, but I kind of don't. Someone just takes me upstairs. This one take us down or up? It's up. Get the crap out of me. Let's go and sort out this shake. Try to predict where I'm going to walk. Just stay. No, no, no. Don't. Stop. Come Over here. here. It's one of the things that I do dislike about the um, the game's AI some of the times. Because it's like, oh, I want to be running in front of you. It's like, no. Stop. Don't want you to do that. I just want you to stay exactly where you are. So I can trade with you. But no. Jury the time he's just running away from you continuously. I wanted to melee him, but he's Whoa, too close. Oh shit. Bastard. Poison me. So when you're poisoned, you uh, end up taking a bit more damage because I'm pretty sure it decreases your, um, your DT, your damage threshold, and your damage resistance, whatever you want to call it. South, west, and go east. <coughs> There's a turn on my light so you guys can see what's going on. Oh, 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 stop harvesting, stop harvesting. Get my fucking weapon out. Uh, shit, 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 get up the fucking rock. Jump, you bastard. It's terrifying how all the freaking footsteps around me. Path back for the kill. I would love to get. 
get a serrated edge for this weapon. Well, hopefully me um, flailing and screaming and yelling and just all around shitting myself didn't scare the crap out of you as well. <laughs> it's like I heard, I heard the footsteps to begin with. And I was like, oh yeah, they're dog meat noises. And nope, there were more than one set of footsteps. I really, really need this targeting scanner for my goggles. So I can not keep track of where everything died. I suppose I should check on some healing. Here, the woods cemetery. One of the things that we should do, we should go down here. Yeah, we should go over here and get the other settlement. Completely forgot about the robots and all that jazz. We can go and get some free settlers and get some more tater income whilst we're going exploring. And once we have the food all established, we really don't have to worry about it until the rest of the game. Should get some nice XP out of this area though. I feel like I want to save some of my ammo. I'm pretty sure it's just a whole bunch of mole rats here. Accidentally stabbed the settler. Oh, fucked up my arm just then. Ooh, slow motion tag. Just run. Ooh. Huh? It seems like I have been poisoned. Again. Arm being broken isn't bad as leg being broken. Get some nice hunting skill out of this. Hmm? Still more. Hey Teleportation time. Still in one piece. Is that Laura missing an eye? Yeah, it is. Brutal. Okay, they're all scrapped up. I'm 
it's these ones. And hunting skill is getting pretty high. Wonder if we actually have to invest any levels into the hunting skill at all. Or if we should maybe chuck a level into it a little bit later. Then we're almost at next level. Um, do we have any food? Okay, that's not worth the rads. Stab you in the ass when you're trying to run away from me. Cool. And got a mutated boy in here as well, which is nice. I need to go get some more um, mutated material. We'll be getting closer and closer to making our first unique weapon, which will be for sure a melee weapon. Thanks. Right, hey. dog meat. Dog meat. I will stab you if you keep moving. Oh, what a freeze frame. Uh, baseball bat. I can go to you. Check it shirt and slacks. Okay, I think we're at our upper limit. Yeah, dog meat's full and we are full. Time to try and get out the robots as our friends. That means that we probably don't want to do that quest at all. Oh, sorry, mannequin. Benno. <laughs> Thank God I disabled its stinger like instantly. I think I crippled it. So at least it couldn't sting me. We haven't lost a leg yet. Junk scrapping. Locked tight. We do not let me anywhere near that. Okay, inventory wise. Oh, we're ghoulified. I'm pretty sure it's under the bridge around here. Because I'm pretty sure we're getting towards drive through. Cannot land shot because my aim is fucked.
Yeah, here's the drive through. So this is another place that we can take over. We have it as a spawn location. A forward facing base. Yeah, that's right, explosives. Almost forgot about them. Another mine around here. Turn out bottle caps. I'll take bottle caps. Nice, we got some oil. if I can actually scrap any of this on the fly. I'm pretty sure I could scrap some of the meat and break it down. It's popping out of the ground again. I wonder if I've got um, high enough lock picking skill to just get into here. Yeah, I do. Chuck all this stuff away, see what comes back. But I have a few moments whilst it's scrapping to run. There he is. 
And this harvest is taking a while. Probably drop. Let's drop all them for now. Mm, they didn't add too much. Did nothing. Okay, that way a little bit. You know, let's just suck it up and do the slow walk. that one. Anything that's left is some red roaches. Yes. Lots of oil. Loving it so far. Make lots of ammo. Oh, you are huge, my friend. Pretty sure all this stuff could should get transferred for me. But I'll have a look and see if we can build a um settler recruitment. make one of these, right?
get rid of all the leaves and everything. Just do a cheeky save, just in case. So one of the things that's great about this settlement is that it has a hoi cars in it. You can get vehicle scrap out of them. Basic circuitry on them. So I wonder if this place is upgradable as well. Very, very curious to find out if there's anywhere like sanctuary, like any panel that we can use. for this one, unless it's in the shack. circuitry out of those phone booths. Hmm, interesting. I was really, really hoping that there was going to be some upgrade capabilities. Next trading cycle, 180 minutes. This is one of the, um, the places where I was really, really hoping that I could, like, upgrade this and fix this up. But nope, no upgrade panel in here, not at all. It's fine. We'll do. Yeah, so... Workshop grid snaps on now. I think it's really worth me making another little forward facing base here. Though it would be worth us making resource management. So, uh, let's have a look at buildings for architect so workshop construction two small houses and cabins just need a lot more wood Uh, 
this is 325. I think this will be one of the places where I'll have to um, use that large building that I built in Sanctuary and then removed. bit more wood. Just beforehand, I accidentally scrapped an animation point. It's annoying that I can do that though. I wonder if that's a glitch or a bug. The horizon is something that's not intended to happen. We need a lot more wood. should go upstairs and actually rest so we're not getting um smashed by raids Let's sleep for six hours Hey, it's not a dark episode. Use of field supplies. No, oh, we're so close on the wood. Scrap this, uh, okay, do the rads disappear if I scrap these? No, they do. Cool. Nice. So close of wood, it's ridiculous. Do we go 
random bits of wood in here. There's one. So close of wood. Alright. Do we want a resource station here? Do have enough nuclear material to upgrade. Need some production going on. We want to use the bigger one. And use a different one for here than we have anywhere else. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. No, that doesn't cost us a cargo bot now. Okay. Travel hub here. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that I can't upgrade this at all. I'm just going to do another final sweep to make sure I haven't missed anything. Because if this is a place that I could slowly upgrade and make it so that this little internal is a little crafting area. And then have the starlight light like lit up and everything. I think that would be really, really cool. But as soon as we got... Master workbench. Okay, so this supply line... I'm not connected to anything at the moment. Potatoes and fertilizer in our last production cycle. Our production management, that's one of the things that we do want to do. Crops fertilizing. Okay, we'll just put five production orders on each one of them. So they will end up getting fertilized so they'll have a greater yield. So the melons and the taters will end up uh, producing more. Uh, local mineral deposit scan for here. We've got oil here, cortisite, limestone, basalt, arsenite. A basalt and limestone only. Cortisite, okay. I've never really gotten that far into Horizon. That I've started mining resources and all that shit. Okay, is this going to get rid of all the shrubbery for me? Trading system, trash can Carlo. I need wood. Okay, let's see. Don't need that much wood. I don't hey. Wait. 
Wait, stay. Move here. Stop trying to predict where I'm going to go. Heads up. Get some caps from Carla. And the grease jacket and jeans. I'm going to keep one of them. Usually, I like setting up it's a warehouse strip. Yeah. There's no warehouse strip is one of the best items in Architect. As I've showed off previously, it has lots of beds, has a nice little area where you can sort of chill out in, or, or set up like crafting stations for your settlers and all that jazz. This is one of the most cost effective ways to set up a settlement. One of the things that I do love about Horizon is that you can either really, really go into the building if you wanted to, or if not, You've got some prefabs that make like a pretty cool base. All you gotta do is uh, get things lined up and in position, and uh, yeah, the settlement looks ends up looking pretty awesome. And this one, we shall nudge the base. Set it to thirty-two. start floating soon and then we'll put the unit strength down to eight and then we'll move it down and then another time so then it's down height make sure nothing is just floating Still walk around. Cool. We can get underneath there. Alright, so we'll put the beds on. So ten beds for here. Let me lock all the objects. Let me check this bad boy like right here. So locking it all keeps the um, keeps the structure in place. So you, when you move the reference point, it uh, it won't like just automatically jump around. But yeah, now we got ten beds ready and waiting for settlers. So one of the first things that we want to do for here is that we definitely want to. Oh, that's right. We should set up. Just temporarily. Now supply line for here to Sanctuary. Manage local supply line, Sanctuary Hills. So now we should see... Abernathy and Sanctuary are connected now. So that should make it a lot easier to build stuff here. 
So we want, we've got recruitment, we've got beds. I think we want to remove this one. So then furniture wise, we can put a personal bed up here just for us. Much prefer to have it that I'm not coming up here and kicking somebody out of my bed. I am the leader, the overlord. I do not want to quarrel over my rest place. It's such a pain in the ass to place something up here some of the times. Yeah, whatever, sleeping bag is good enough. Okay, so we'll grab everything out of the production storage. And let's get this place set up for people to move in. There's the fucking bell. There we go, we got a bell. Siren. Why was that under resources? I guess the people are a resource. Okay. Spicy observations here. Okay, so we want architect, we want food. Why is my Discord still going off? Oh, it's one of my mates. I'll reply to him a little bit later. So one of my mates messaging me. Uh, so... Do I want supply depots? Ooh. We can make a large farming workbench. Nice, we have the resources for it. Okay, so can we can make a universal crafting station for here. Let's have a look at some of these so we can potentially get a little bit of a makeshift base for ourselves going on. these prefabs much I reckon no shack like that it's clipping a little bit the surface snap will turn that off so yeah we want it to clip a little bit Okay, so let's chuck this guy down. So we'll be able to craft and do a heap of shit in there if we really want to. Uh, so structures, doors. Check a door on this. crafting shack for ourselves. Let's have a look at so planters. Chuck a couple of these down. And 
should have the ability to make this decent water pump. Which give us nice amount of water. Oh, but first things first, we want a guard outpost. We can't scrap that sign. Can't get rid of that, um, that bus either. This can live there. So we've got the security capabilities. What we'll also do is we'll chuck these down as well. Press that one there. So we've got some defense already going on. So we've got water. Just need some food. Okay, let's have a look at our recruitment chance for here now. Thirty percent chance to recruit. So we've got this one set up that's going to slowly grow into itself. We don't have any food for here, but we can always deal with that a little bit later on. But... Alright, what we want to do is we want to go into shack. I think we make ourselves a little personal bed down here. this light. Where the fuck is it? Where did it snap into? Snapped into somewhere. It's all that matters. Oh. This is rather tight. skills up. Okay, so I think we're very close to having a level. Yeah, extremely close to having a level. Okay. Let's have a look at our male situation. And go through the ritual of Horizon. Ammunition guide, nice. 
What about that gives us? It might give us ballistic skill. Uh. Chuck these ones in here as well. Get some education material out of it. Nice. Okay, training and skills is irrelevant for the time being. Command table. Command missions. What do we got in the munition container? We got steel, aluminium, cloth, and leather. That's not bad. Hmm. Do we have too many craftsmen at Sanctuary? Looks like it. Looks like we can only have one of one of craftsmen, not two craftsmen. Okay, that makes sense. So, repeated deployment. So craft and project. Okay, so when we do get a higher level, then we'll be able to use both our craftsmen and send them on a smithing project or send one and one to do salvage and craft. Okay. Alright, that one's done. So command table's fine. Uh, weapons wise. Okay, we got some stuff to learn. So it means if we go into the Z1, we'll be able to get a level. But we don't want to construct. We want to go back. E, there we go, level six. Okay, everything from the uh, workbenches has moved to the master one. Okay, so is there anything that we have all of the resources for that we don't have the level yet? We got science. levels if I can get it. Explosive skill, lock picking, carry weight commando two. Just a ground lock sticky bombs. Okay. Metalworking Tailoring. Mm, master Thief. That's interesting. Okay, survivalist. Hmm, doesn't look like this. Doesn't look like there's any strict science that I can get. Okay, so from memory, trading and market terminal. Hawkeye had someone Wilson with that was 30 with vendor credit. 
So I need nuclear material and vendor credits for Wilson. So I cannot get the science yet. Okay, um, what about ballistics? Gunsmithing 40, a shotgun and pipe weapon parts. It's gunsmithing 40. hunting and leadership mm. utility and kits so I need the workshop technology rank 1 which means I need the science in order to get the Wilson through crafting but I do not have the intelligence to get the science so that means that we have to do a whole heap of trading. We've got leadership of 40. And survival, engineering, chemistry, and medical. So, kind of looks like survival might be the best bet for us. So we have a look at architect and then go to farming community. Planters, it's just that. Planters, right? Yep. So we got hunter missions. Wild gardens. So let's workshop survival three and four. So I wonder if I could actually save that for later. Workshop technology for purified water. I think. Survival skill is probably going to be the best bet. Yep. I think that might be the case. trading yeah I think I'm gonna go trading I think trading is the only way that we're really gonna get anywhere with this sort of character Trading rank one, so now we just need the vendor credits and the nuclear material. Oh, jumpsuit mark two. Gumdrops, moldy food, crazy eddy.
glue. Okay, selling wise. Trading rank two, okay. Material 300, steel, bundle of razor grain doesn't sound bad. Okay, cool. So it does feel like we can do a decent amount of trades. Console recruitment, small power gen. Mm, Wilson is definitely our next goal. So, we need workshop technology rank one. Apologies that it's taking me a little while to actually um, go through all this stuff, but I'm like piecing together the way that this uh, update is actually happening and like what's hap what the difference are. Oh my god! Come on, sentences. I'm trying to figure out the um, the differences in between uh, 1.8 and 1.9. So it looks like we do have. A lot more avenues to actually get mm, some progression and technology going on. It's like we need to get some rat off and stuff going on, which would be really, really nice because I think, like, definitely want to invest some levels into survival. Septic from alcohol. Redstone. Clear rain. Oh, that's expensive. some healing and get some medicine skill out of it as well at the same time but uh do we have we don't have any more red removal okay so should we should chuck uh you you and you into there also, we should make one of the little farming plots for here, just so we can get rid of all of our meat and stuff. So this one's going to use 8 cork, that one's going to use 20. So I can meet. Let's chuck one of these ones down, because I don't really want this to become specifically a farming community this is just going to be a forward facing base that allows us to uh get rid of all the crap that we don't need chuck them in there and we also want to chuck that 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 all of them in there the stealth boy can go because we want to save that for Wilson. The portable memory devices are kind of useless because we have the auto save manager. Check the fishing bait in there. Yeah, 
we got three teeters on us. Check all that business in together. Thirty WP three oh eight three five seven thirty eight and forty five rounds can stay. Get rid of them, get rid of them. Fusion cell. Name of fuel. We'll keep the bolts on us as well. And sometime soon we'll go through and clear out our inventory with a whole heap of scraps and stuff. So that's fine. So weapons workbench. Combat knife, serrated blade, metalworking 60, stealth blade. Nah, serrated sounds fun. Sharpened average quality. Okay, that costs us oil. I'll put a lock on this one. Higher iron, repeating bolter. And that's gunsmithing 80. Okay, it's going to be a while before we're actually able to uh, repair anything. My frame receiver, hair trigger. Proof damage to heavier weight, so that's plus three. We'll chuck that one on. Gunsmithing 60, gunsmithing 100, gunsmithing 140. Wow, okay, it's going to take us a lot longer to actually get some progression going on for our weapons. We can put augments on them as well. Red damage, poison, burn, cryo, shock. Critical damage is nice. Suppressor, stealth and gunsmithing. Okay, it's going to be a while before we get that going on. So calibrated. And we'll put the heavy frame receiver on that bad boy. Barrels gunsmithing that. Full stock is gunsmithing 60. Gunsmithing 60. Okay, so purely for the stats, it looks like we really want to go with um, these glow sights. As much as I prefer to use irons. Get rid of the tie iron for now. Repeating bolter. So what do we got? Sensitive trigger, better rate of fire, better damage, lighter weight. Yeah, improved regulator sounds good. Crossbow stabilization. Standard poor hip fire sided. 10%, 50% bash. Reduced range, increased rate of fire, 10% really loaded speed, rapid module, crossbow. I'm gonna go with light barrel for you. We can chuck a, a large bayonet on here as well. Nah. So that's glue side, some proof reflex side, glow reflex side. Okay. 
we will zoom based on modules, 10% insider accuracy, 20%, minus 20% stability, plus 30% fats cost. Much of the scope sounds good. Alt AP. Volta sounds pretty good. And let's. Do we have a lock for this one as well? Item lock. A little bit of a loadout going on. So then armor-wise as well, is there anything that we can do? We can give ourselves a lighter build. I don't think we really want any of that right now. Uh, target scanner is... Okay. We need science for that. Oh, and awareness gives us the ability for it. Cool. So it's plus one intelligence, plus two intelligence. And we got tinfoil, ballistic weave. Oh. <laughs> it's a lighter headgear build. Gives us more AP. Okay. So that's at 40%. Need tailoring 20 soon. Yeah, so I think next level is probably going to be tailoring by the looks of things. So we can... Add some lining to this. Eh. Fault. Tech suit is fine. Chemistry, we've done that one. And we've got cooking and supplies. We've already gone through and we should make some meat for ourselves. We'll scrap everything. Now this definitely turned out to be slightly longer than expected. But uh, we got there in the long run. So it means that uh, with our character, because we have the inability to get the science skill, we are going to need to work on trading as much as possible. So we can end up getting um, Wilson. We can get... The auto junk vacuum that really, really is a game changer. Oh, one thing I should do whilst I'm here, I think of it. I should use some of our limb supplies. Get ourselves back up again. Okay, so weapons and ammo. So ballistic wise, we're able to make. Make a decent round of 45 ammo. So 1645 ammo for 720 smokeless. And all this 20 rounds of 38. 
Um, let's go through the disassembly process. We'll get rid of them. 357, 38, 44 rounds we'll get rid of. 10 mil rounds can stay. 556 five, can go. 762 can go. Weapons. Make a couple of them as well. Projectile cannonballs, bolts. So we need carbon fiber. Okay. Ah, so we can get science skill from that. Interesting. So we need carbon fiber. Make all of the 38 rounds out of this. Out of all the oil that I've got, we've got plenty of ammunition for our pistol. weapon field kit and change it over to 38 rounds now we've got like 400 rounds we're set for a while so shotgun wires are sorted yeah don't mind it I do love the iron sights though wait I wonder if Why not? Let's just leave it the way I like it, but put the glow sight on it. I don't like having a sight in the shotgun, it's kind of stupid. Unless you're losing slug rounds. But I wouldn't mind getting to the stage where I'm just able to sort of uh, cycle through weapons. Or I have a shotgun and then be able to cycle through ammo, is what I mean to say. Okay, uh, weapons, clothing and armor, there's not much I could do from memory. So, welding supplies. Headgear, invisible helmet and mask. I don't really want that. Power armor. Oh, I can make raider shit now. Raider legs. And arms. Okay. Which means that combat armor might be a little bit redundant if we're going to be able to maintain it. So, uh, oh, some power armor. Okay, trading market and terminal. Alright. I think we've gone through this enough times. I think pretty much the the next objective that we're going to have is that we are definitely going to be going and trying to find where the other outpost is. At the one that we were originally looking forward down here. And yeah, we'll get that all set up and ready to go. So I'm just thinking whether or not we end up setting up Sanctuary. So my supply lines are starting to drive into Sanctuary. So we built this place up so it can grow on its own. But we'll have to leave the food connected to here. Yeah, I think a three network is going to be all right. Because what we'll eventually do is we'll have Sanctuary to Starlight Drive in. And then Starlight Driving to uh, whichever forward facing base we are. And then we'll slowly make a chain and then have off branches of, um, of uh, individual settlers going off to say like 
we'd have somebody going as a settler, uh, making a supply line from Starlight Drive in to Ten Pennies Buff, but then making like the main vein of our um, production line, the um, the production workshop thingos, like the uh, the ones that include the cargo bots, if you understand what I mean. But yeah, that uh, that sounds like a decent plan for the next episode. Where are we gonna go? Are we, are we gonna go up. Uh, I'm gonna get distracted immediately. Okay, that's just the production manager. Uh, where are we gonna go to say goodbye? I think up here it looks good. I don't know. Wouldn't mind, uh. Oh, can we sit on one of these stools? Yeah. Look at this. They're gonna be ultra immersed. Oh, we're getting nice and close. Yeah, this is as good a place as any. Yeah, look at Dogmeat. He's fucking up that teddy bear. Alright. Well, uh, I thank you all for watching this, uh, this longer episode. Yeah, we got into the building and into the upgrade system a little bit more. So yeah, so next objective is to get some trading going on so we can get uh, Wilson. And uh, by the looks of things, we probably want to uh, do that craft that we found beforehand to increase our science skill as well. But that's going to be very, very expensive. But next thing that we're going to do is definitely sort out the uh the trading situation hopefully we'll get some settlers recruited to our to our new base but yeah thank you all for watching i will catch you all in the next episode bye